This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Alexis Rivas. Let's get right into your top local stories. A Camp Pendleton Marine accused of sexually assaulting a 14 year old girl is awaiting his first appearance before a military judge. And we're learning new information about the disturbing charges against this unnamed Marine. New documents obtained by NBC7 indicate he's a member of Camp Pendleton based Combat Logistics Battalion 5 and served in the Marine Corps for four years. He now faces two charges. Military prosecutors detailed three specific violations related to the first charge, sexual assault of a child, including three instances in which the Marines accused of performing sex acts against that child on or near Camp Pendleton on June 27th. He's also charged with violating restrictions in an unrelated case. He's set to make his first appearance before a military judge tomorrow morning at Camp Pendleton for an Article 32 hearing. San Diego police shot and killed a man believed to be involved with the death of a canine. It all happened just before seven last night off El Cajon Boulevard in the college area. Detectives say the man was wanted in connection with a different police shooting earlier this month. That one involved the death of a police dog at Mesa College. Sheriff's deputies say when police tried to serve the suspect a warrant last night, he came out of his apartment and appeared to have a gun. Deputies say initially he complied with all commands, put down the gun. But officers say he later lunged towards the weapon, prompting at least one police officer to open fire. We spoke to some of the neighbors who were evacuated. Oceanside police are looking into the death of a toddler after he was hit by a pickup truck. It happened just after 3.30 yesterday afternoon on San Thomas Drive. Officers say the 16-month-old was walking in the street when he was hit by a Ford F-150. Police say the 62-year-old driver who lives nearby stayed at the scene. Neither alcohol or drugs appear to be a factor, but the exact circumstances of the crash are still under investigation. Police are asking anyone with information to contact them. Right now, local firefighters are heading to Oregon to help with several wildfires there burning across the western slope of the Cascades. Governor Newsom directed the state to deploy five firefighting strike teams. The firefighters are going to help at the lookout and bedrock fires. 25 engines and 100 people are deploying from San Diego, Alameda, San Mateo, San Bernardino and Riverside counties. A new pocket park will soon be soon be calling Point Loma home. NBC 7's Ashley Matthews is there and she has a look at the soon to be new addition. It doesn't look like much right now, but soon this whole area here is going to look a lot different. We're right off of Canyon Street and Akron Street here in Point Loma, and this is where that pocket park will be. A space, a green space for everyone to enjoy here in Point Loma. It's expected to have a little something for everyone too. Some of the features include a playground for kids, picnic area, walls and fencing since a busy street is nearby, safety lights and a public art piece. When it's completed, it'll be a three quarter acre neighborhood park right here in the heart of Point Loma. The whole project is expected to cost about $1.8 million. Surprisingly, we don't have limitless public green space in Point Loma, so the addition of this park in this nook is a welcomed opportunity for families to get together, kids to play, and to beautify our neighborhood. So you're probably wondering when all of this will be completed to enjoy. Well, construction is going to start next week, next Monday, and then it's supposed to be completed by next summer. Reporting from Point Loma, Ashley Matthews, NBC7. Amazing how much those small spaces can cost. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at the forecast. Hey there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. We have some monsoonal moisture over the southwest, so we're still going to see those mountain storms developing through the rest of the afternoon. Deserts have a chance also. We still have the heat advisory and excessive heat warnings for the mountains and the deserts. Temperatures back in the 90s inland today. For the coast, at least at the beaches, that's where you have to go for relief. Mid-70s deserts right near about 110. Tomorrow's still going to be hot. Inland Valley's around 93. Friday near 90, but over the weekend, I'm watching increasing rain chances and even more on Sunday. Day. Sheena, thanks. California energy officials now warning of a possible flex alert as early as today, which you got to know. And it's back to class for thousands of kids across the county. Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, Go over to the left and navigate to News. 
Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites, and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Alexis Rivas. Welcome back. Results are continuing to come in this morning for the open District 4 County Supervisor seat. It's a special election after that seat was vacated by former Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. Almost 80,000 San Diegans cast their ballots before the election in person and by mail. So far, Democratic Council Member Monica Montgomery Stepp is in front with 40% of the vote. Behind her is Republican Amy Reichart with 29%. If no candidate gets more than 50%, the top two will be heading to a runoff in November. Thousands more kids in San Diego County are saying goodbye to summer vacation today. It pains me to say that. Here's a look at the school districts heading back to class. Lemon Grove School District, Cajon Valley Union School District, Alpine Union School District, Dehesa School District, and Poway Unified. And as those students head back to class in Poway Unified, they can look forward to a new school lunch menu. Nearly $15 billion, that's billion with a B, in state and federal funding has allowed California school districts to not only buy fresher local ingredients, but to train staff and remodel kitchens. On the menu this fall are barbecue pulled sam sandwiches, habanero mango chicken wings, and spicy chicken wraps. The move to healthier school meals comes on the heels of a state program providing breakfast and lunch to all students, regardless of their parents' income. Families really appreciate that extra time in the morning, that they're not having to put together the meal. They know that there's a well-balanced lunch available at school at no cost. School nutrition today is, is a very different landscape than it was maybe a generation ago. Especially when there's wings on the menu. Cafeteria staff say they haven't had any complaints, I can imagine, but there have been some hiccups in the new concept. Cooking farm fresh meals means taking more time and more staff and they're still suffering from staffing shortages brought on by the pandemic. California energy officials are warning of a possible flex alert, saying it could happen as early as today or tomorrow. The California independent system operator expects the biggest strain to be today. Cal ISO says temperatures are going up across the state and there will be an increase in energy demand. That puts pressure on our power grid. A flex alert calls for people to voluntarily conserve electricity during the afternoon and the evening. Of course, those are the trickiest times. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your weather right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 deliver forecasts that are not just accurate, but the most accurate. Los más acertados. In San Diego. San Diego's biggest team of meteorologists with the most advanced technology delivering the updates you need when you want them in English y en español because San Diego weather is more than just 75 and sunny and when changes are on the way our first alert weather team is here to help you prepare NBC 7 and Telemundo 20 first alert weather Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. It's going to be a hot one again today. Mid-70s along the coast, so that's where you have to go for relief, right at the beaches. Downtown low 80s. Inland valleys mid to low 90s. Humid also with scattered storms in the mountains and also potentially in the deserts. Tomorrow is still going to be hot. Then we head towards the week and we start to cool down, but notice the rain chances going up. We're going to have uh, some tropical rain, potentially thunderstorms over the weekend. The best weekend day looks like Saturday. Rain chances go up Sunday and Monday. Sheena, thanks. Business has been booming for stores and restaurants this summer. A new report finds retail sales rose solidly last month, a sign people are still spending freely. According to the Commerce Department, restaurant sales are up about 1.5% last month. Department store sales were up about 1%, and online sales were up about 2%. So uh, all that inflation doesn't seem to be affecting some shopaholics at least. More coverage you can count on on NBC7.com. Thanks for watching.